Construction, block after block, gone. The number of people known to have died in the Los Angeles wildfires has risen to 24. Across LA County, some 60 square miles of land now scorched earth. Firefighters have gained ground against the two largest blazes, the Palisades and Eaton fires. But the devastation left behind is staggering. Everyone in the world heard about the recent LA fires, but not everyone heard about this house here. This passive house, every house around this house literally burnt to the ground, but this house stayed intact. I wanted to know why, so I looked into it myself. Recently, I met a family from Altadena, California that lost their house in this tragic fire. They told me their house wasn't even in the immediate fire zone, but embers, flying embers traveling from miles away is what ultimately decimated this community. When you look at the pictures, it's incredible. The whole community, suburbs, completely decimated. Homes burnt to the ground with out the fire ever directly reaching them. They told me that the fire never even touched their streets, but the heat was so intense and flying embers were everywhere that their house and every other house literally instantly caught fire. And now they're thinking about rebuilding and this time they wanna build passive because this they know changes everything. Now, to my investigation, why this house stood while everything around it burnt to the ground, I dug into the details and here's what I found. The four layers of fire protection in a passive home. The house is wrapped in super insulation, creating a significant barrier to reduce excessive heat. It prevents the walls from reaching temperatures that encourage combustion. Number two, airtight envelope. Most homes let air leak through their tiny cracks, which is perfect for embers to enter in the home, start a fire, but this house, there's no gaps, there's no cracks, no leaks essentially. Number three, glazing envelope. The windows on this passive home aren't just regular windows. They are triple glazed with super thick vacuum spaces and tempered glass. This makes them five times stronger and better insulated than your standard window. That's why they didn't shatter under the extreme heat of the LA fires. Number four, zero ventilation envelope. In a wildfire situation, you know a traditional home has a venting system that actually pulls in fire and embers. But in this house, this passive house, the ventilation system automatically shuts down, preventing any embers from even coming close to getting into the house. So why didn't this house burn down? The embers got into the other houses through the roof, soffit, and ventilation system. But in this house, it had nowhere for embers to go, nowhere to enter. Fire resistant exteriors. The materials on the outside of a passive home do not ignite very easily. Extreme temperature protection. The airtight enclosure reduces the heat transfer down to the point where materials don't reach the combustion temperature. Stronger against fire. Even when fire tore through this neighborhood, this house held its ground. Imagine leaving your home, residing to the fact that your house is not gonna be there when you come back. But when you return, it's still standing. This isn't just about energy efficiency, it's about survival. The future of building is not just about saving energy, but it's also about saving homes. Those people in Altadena, are already taking the steps towards passive house for their rebuild. And honestly, I would too. So what do you think? Should more homes be built like this? Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna learn more, follow along because this is the future of building.